It's another update on the Jabron build here at AirTech. Some of the things I'm trying to do to try to save a little weight without compromising uh, performance or anything like that. Uh, several people is, already knows what I'm using, but what I've chose is the uh, Titan version, the 0370, which basically is a 0360 with a stroked crankshaft. Um, we've here at the shop have several different places that do our engine building, uh, Barrett, performance out in Tulsa, Oklahoma, 92nd West Aviation there in, in our hometown and different ones. Uh, I think the last Cub Crafter plane I did, I just rebuilt my own engine, but Jay at Javron actually has a part of his company that builds these. And I had a few little nitpick questions that I'm kind of ticky on on engine build that he answered the questions like I like to hear. So I went on ahead and let Jay build this engine for me. A few things with this engine to try to save weight. The ECI type cylinders has got the tapered uh, jugs on them. There's, I've read that there's a pound and a half per jug lighter. That would be six pounds, but I don't think it's that much. It's got a magnesium intake. Don't have that exact number, but I think I'd heard four or five pounds difference. Naturally a lightweight starter. Uh, your standard carburetor, your MA4-5. Went with the E-Mags. Uh, several instances I've had good lucks with them. The, uh, the sweepstakes plane that Don and Ron built for the EA this year is a low 0200, one of their 0200s with these mags on it. And they really crank smooth and run good. Um, as far as horsepower gain, they're lighter, but I've been behind a couple actual dynos that I've never actually, it's never been proven to me this big horsepower gain. It may be a hotter spark, I'm not sure. But chose that because they're, they're pretty well a proven design now. One of the deals that you can gain or lose weight, not only is the unit itself lighter, but you run an automotive spark plug versus, you know, your shielded, your large aircraft type. Your aircraft type spark plugs is three, so let me look here, 3.59 ounces a piece times eight. So that's 28 ounces. The auto plugs are two ounce times eight at 16. So you're saving 12.72 ounces. So you're, you're approaching a pound just on the difference in the spark plugs. But the way this engine came out, uh, weighed just like it is with these magnesium parts on it. And I think I, if I've got everything right, I weighed it with the leads. And one other deal that I'm gonna show, standard flywheel, I come up 6.07 pounds. I'm running the Sky Dynamics, it's magnesium. It's got the lightning hose already formed in it. It does not have a pulley for the for the alternator, and it's at 3.21 pounds. So, you know, we're 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 about half almost half the weight there. Reason I mentioned that no pulley is I'm gonna run the alternator off of the back pad. And when you're when you're running one like that. That one, that particular one is 5.75 pounds. And if you weigh one on the back with the belt and the brackets, you're right at seven pounds. So you're saving a little bit there. But I think the last engine that I did was a Superior. And with those parts on it, with the flywheel on here, it came out to 280 pounds and just a couple ounces. That was with the flywheel, with E-Mags, but it was a standard intake, and I think it was a standard flywheel. This one weighed, just like I mentioned, with the leads and the flywheel, come in at 269.9. So about 10 pounds difference in the engine comparing, comparing them right next to each other. So then if you add the alternator to it, that will be everything pretty well ready to go except for exhaust come in right at 275. Um, 
So it's a little over 10 pounds lighter than the Superior. And if you equip them the same, that, that's, that's about where I come in at. Um, I think that's about all. I found a set of exhausts that weighs about 12 even that actually is a crossover and got a dual, dual muffler stainless exhaust is gonna come in right at 12 pounds. Won't do that video till I see it across my scale. And when I do that scale, I'll add in the weight of the no blow the, the metal gaskets for the exhaust. And that will be an add on at that time. But that's where I'm at. Uh, I didn't go outrageous on the compression because a lot of times you start to, end, you know, these airplanes are kind of slow and you start coming up with heat problems when you get the compression real high. I'll do another video on what I'm doing on the cooling and on the cowling, but I, I kept the compression close to normal and being an 0370, this one has the roller tappets. Um, I'm conservative, I'm thinking it's around 190 horsepower. Maybe a little conservative there, I'm not sure. But that's where I'm at. We're supposed to get some zero degree weather in the next day or two, so I'm gonna use these days. If I'm not running AirTech, I'm gonna be out here getting ready to start hanging the engine.